everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This video kind of continues from my Facebook Live. So on Thursday, I made these cards during my live and it was a craft along and some other people have done it as well and really enjoyed it. So I've made the three, I love them all, but I think my favorite is gonna be this one here then this one, and I love that one as well. Anyway, so I've got six by six and five by seven. So I don't know what to call them, maybe a triple panel concertina card or a double concertina, but basically they've got the, you can see the, the concertina folds there either side, but when you fold them in together, it becomes a six by six size, so that will fit into the envelope. So that's how it looks. It looks really nice when they pull that out of the envelope, and then obviously it kind of springs open, and then you can stand those up. You've got all that space on the back to stamp and write your message. I haven't done that yet, but I'll pop a couple of mats and layers. So when I give you the sizes to these, you can just, you know, put a few more on the back there. But if I just bring it up a bit closer, I've used these gorgeous stamps, which I'll show you in a moment, and then I've finished it. You can see all the little Nouveau drops on there, that little sign. But I think it looks really adorable. So that's that one. Then I've done the six by six using pattern papers. And I've also put the holographic card on the concertina folds. So that one there, you'll see they're all white, but on this one, you can cover them. There's a little shaker heart there as well, which is really sweet. And then I've just used these toppers from the Dovecraft Paper Posies, this one is, and it's from the Decoupage Pack. And again, I've used some little hearts and some Nouveau drops in between there as well. And this lovely wooden heart here as well. But really nice, and again, that one stands up on its own and I've done the envelope and I'll show you at the end how to make these kind of bouncy dimensional envelopes so you don't always have to make a box card box envelope sorry and if you're you know delivering by hand then you know this is a good quick way to do it to make sure they fit because there's so much dimension there in a standard six by six envelope it probably wouldn't fit but if you make your own and do it this way which I'll show at the end it turns out really well and then this is the five by seven really really nice and I'm going to do a five by seven today in this style decoration. So then I'll have a six by six and a five by seven in the paper posies and then I've already got my five by seven and six by six with the stamped images there. This one I blended the background and what I actually didn't do on the live it was afterwards when I was tidying up and I realized I had this strip and I thought I wonder if I can get enough out of that and if you pull it out it looks really cool. It's got such a fun effect but um, I just thought it was nice to continue that kind of background and again you'll see there when it all folds flat it's your five by seven size. This has got the Nouveau drops on which are drying. I put a few in the yellow, a few in the blue and some there at the bottom in the green. And I've also added glossy accents to the eyes, the flag, the center of the flower there, the little daisy, and on that one there, the tulip. Again, absolutely adorable. I could easily do these as birthday cards. And actually during the live, a few of us said how wonderful this would look for an engagement or a wedding card style. So let me show you how to make these really fun cards. Okay, so they were the papers that I used for the six by six. The five by seven was obviously blended using um, Distress Oxide inks, but this is the Daisy May Design Sunshine Flowers. It's a beautiful paper pad and it's just perfect. Bring it in again, you can see there just really ties everything together and it's a real nice spring Easter feel to it. And then these are the stamp sets. So I kind of mixed two together really and they're both by Tonic Studios. This one's Celebrate Life and this one is Celebrate Friendship, although I missed the E off there. Um, but just lovely, simple images, but really nice to color in. As always, everything will be linked below. And then for today, I am doing the five by seven and this is using Paper Posy. So, I used the 12 by 12 pack for this five by seven, but I've put it away. So I just thought I'd bring the six by six in. It was the six by six that I used to make this one. Okay, so if you don't buy bigger papers, then you know you might prefer to make the six by six version because then you'll be able to use your six by six paper pads. But because I'm doing this in five by seven, I have cut into my larger pad that I have in that collection just to get my little bits there. And then this is the decoupage one and I've made this one here a little something and I'm going to just put a little sweet treat with this card when I drop it off to a friend so um, I just think that's really nice a little something and then I'll just say you know hi hope you're okay inside so we'll go through the mats and layers in a moment and I will all the measurements for the six by six and the mats and layers will be listed in my blog Okay, so head over to the blog for that one. Also, you can tune into the Facebook Live or you could watch that back on replay, which is over on my Mixed Up Craft Facebook page. So for the five by seven, you want a piece of nine by seven. And along the nine inch side, you want to score at one and a quarter, one and three quarters, two and a quarter, and two and three quarters. And then I just find it easier to just flip and repeat that again. So one and a quarter, 
one and three quarters, two and a quarter, and two and three quarters. Okay, so that's all the scoring you need. And just how I do this is exactly how you would do the six by six. Okay, so you want to start with your inner score line. So this is the center panel. So the score lines either side, you want them to become mountain folds, then valley, then mountain, finishing with a valley. Okay, but each time I fold, I'm just burnishing that line so you get a really nice crisp finish. And you'll see now, so you should have mountain, valley, mountain, valley, so that that panel faces out towards you. And again, flip it over, next side, start off with a mountain, valley, mountain, and then again, finishing with a valley. And there is our card blank. It's really easy to do. And again, it all folds flat into a five by seven size. Okay, so now we just need to decorate. So I've got my holographic card stock. So if you want to do the mat size, it's three and a quarter by six and three quarters for the middle. And then you'll want two pieces for the outer panels. And these are one by that same length, which is six and three quarters. So there's one for that side and one for that side. Then I've got a layer that's going to go on top which is three by six and a half that's going to go on top of the middle one and then I've got two for either side and these are three quarters of an inch by six and a half so one's going to go over there and then one over this side and then I've also got all these strips if you do want to add a layer over all the concertina sides then you will want three for each side so I've got six there and these are quarter of an inch by six and three quarters because they're just the same as the matte layers, okay? So I'm gonna stick all them down and then I'll be back to finish off the decoration. Also stuck down a doily and you would have seen me just trim off the sides there so now I can just start placing these bits down here and I think I'm gonna maybe have these I don't know whether that one should go maybe there or do I want it let me just bring in the other ones so you can kind of see what I've done here I want to do a similar kind of effect so I like those two there I've got this bow to just go over that one I'm gonna I'm just gonna some hot glue just so it overhangs. I like them overhanging that centre panel. I think it looks really nice. Just stick that one down there and then this one can go just like so. Yeah, that looks really pretty and then these here, I may not use both, certainly that one goes with that there so I may have let's do it that way on next and that looks upside down so I think it needs to be be something like that I think that looks nice you don't have to use hot glue I'm just using it for a bit of dimension and just for speed really see that could look quite nice there I think it needs to be that way I'm going to throw this one in as well like so and then I've just got this Nouveau drop color here which is the caramel cream and I'm just going to add a few little drops and there you have it a very quick but really effective looking card I'll just bring up there just so you can see all that detail I need to give those Nouveau drops some time now to dry 
But next, what we can do is I'll show you how to make an envelope to fit, but using this 5x7 one because that one is dry. So I'm going to pull out a matching piece of paper from the 12x12 12 12 paper pad. And on here, to make an envelope for a 5x7 card, it tells me that I need a piece of 9.5 by 9.5 pattern paper. And on the scoreboard it's telling me the first score line is at four inches so I'm going to pop this in line it up here at the four inch mark stamp and score go to the opposite side stamp and score and then just line up your score line with there and then the opposite side again line up that line with this marker here and this should also line up nicely with that corner and score. Next you just want to fold and burnish your score lines as normal. And then I'm going to run some of my tape along the sides of one of the longer sides, so the top or the bottom. I mean looking at the direction yet yeah, it doesn't matter on this. Then I'm going to get the card, pop it in and you'll see there it fits within your five by seven section. There's always about a quarter of an inch extra. Bring over the sides, take the backing off of your double sided tape and then you can just bring this up, I may have gone too high with the double sided tape so I'm not going to push it down on there but just run your tape like so and now you've got a perfect envelope for that more dimensional card without having to make a box envelope and you can see that it's got a bit of a spring in it but it's just a quick way and an effective way I think to make envelopes for your more dimensional cards so I will in a minute just get my powder your, when you do your um, embossing just get the powder and I'm just going to rub it over the sticky tape there just so it doesn't affect the card but now I've got my matching envelope for this one which is drying but that will fit perfectly into that one I need to make an envelope for that one I've also got the envelope for this one here which I'd already done so that one's all done and then I just need to make an envelope for that one as well. But there you have four really fun cards, very quick and easy to make and in two different styles so that it gives you a bit more inspiration and hopefully you've got something in your stash to be able to create your own. So thanks for watching. If you would like to join in on the lives or if you'd like to craft along or just sit back relax and watch some live crafting then I will share the link to my Facebook page below and I'll also share the direct link to the video where I made the 6x6 and the 5x7 I give all the score lines and the measurements and everything there but I also will list that in my blog and that will be linked below this video as well so yeah any questions or anything like that please pop them in the comment section and as always thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another video see you then bye